VOPAC, your partner in the energy transition. From tea to LNG to new energies, VOPAC stores products vital for everyday life. Today, we store chemicals, oil, gases, biofuels, and edible oils. For the future, we are developing new infrastructure solutions to actively support our customers in the energy transition and contribute to the introduction of new vital products. In this area, VOPAC is focusing on hydrogen, ammonia, sustainable feedstocks like bio-based and recycled plastics, CO2 infrastructure, and long-duration energy storage. VOPAC has a unique global network of strategic locations, highly competent people, and long-term partnerships in the global energy and manufacturing markets. Combined with our ambition to accelerate investments in infrastructure for new energies and sustainable feedstocks, these make us a unique partner in the energy transition. Let's look at Europe. VOPAC is well positioned in the main gateways to Europe. With more than four and a half square kilometers of land, that is about 650 football fields, as well as 104 berths with deep water access, excellent river, rail, pipeline, and road connections. VOPAC is a strategic partner for developing new supply chains. We are currently in the process of repurposing our sites for future developments. Here are some highlights of our current projects that we do together with our customers and partners. For the import of hydrogen in the Netherlands and Germany, VOPAC has a strategic partnership with GasUni, the main Dutch gas network operator. To facilitate the import of ammonia as a hydrogen carrier, VOPAC is developing the ACE terminal in the port of Rotterdam together with GasUni and Hess International. This terminal will be connected to pipelines into Northwest Europe. In Flushing, we are testing the market to facilitate the import of green ammonia using our existing tanks. VOPAC has the experience to safely store ammonia in six strategic locations around the world. With Shell, Engie, and Anthony Bader, VOPAC is developing a liquid hydrogen supply chain from Sines, Portugal, to Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And with Hydrogenius, VOPAC is developing hydrogen supply chains using liquid organic hydrogen carriers. This promising technology can make hydrogen distribution safer and more efficient. In addition to hydrogen, VOPAC is investing in new infrastructure for sustainable feedstocks. We are repurposing part of our Vlardigen terminal to support Shell's new biodiesel facility in the port of Rotterdam. VOPAC is also involved in plastic recycling. For example, we are partnering with Xcycle, who is about to commence construction of a plant in the port of Rotterdam that will convert non-mechanically recyclable plastic into high-quality sustainable raw material. We are also working towards a circular supply chain for plastics by 2025 in collaboration with Renewi, Omnicorp, Shell, the Port of Rotterdam, and TNO. Related to CO2, together with partners, VOPAC is looking into developing CO2 Next, an open access CO2 terminal in Rotterdam that will be connected to depleted gas fields such as Aramis. This will give us the opportunity to develop a CO2 hub. CO2 infrastructure will be needed throughout Europe, and VOPAC's assets are strategically located to facilitate this. We are currently in active discussion on this topic in Flushing, Antwerp, and Tarragona. VOPAC is also developing infrastructure for long-duration energy storage, like flow batteries. Together with Elastor, we have a joint ambition to scale up flow batteries for industrial scale. At VOPAC, we are performance-driven people with a future mindset. We store the vital products that society needs today, tomorrow, and in the future.